Welcome to another episode of the Online Prosperity Experience Podcast. You're about to hear your host, Prosper Taravinga's powerful digital marketing strategies and actionable tactics that you can use right now. Prosper has helped more than 50,000 people from over 10 countries to create meaningful businesses that are profitable and enjoyable. Listen to this podcast so that you too can build your own business with less stress and overwhelm. Let's get started. The five business concepts all coaches, consultants, and small business owners should know. Now, I got a question for you. Are you struggling to get more clients or have you gotten sick of cold calling businesses and maybe sending, uh, you know, direct messages to randoms just so you can get leads online? I got to tell you something. Growing your own business is tough. You know, you're probably calling uh, potential clients and having them hang up in your face. So you're sending out hundreds of emails without getting much of a thanks for reaching out or wasting thousands of dollars maybe on ad spend and without generating qualified leads. And sometimes it can actually feel like no one wants to buy what you're selling. And when you, you know, you, when you actually rely on your business, like most of us are, so you can pay rent and put food on the table, it can actually put an enormous strain on your emotions. And you're always terrified of having to give up on your dreams. And sometimes the nine to five doesn't seem any bad after all. Not that I'm saying that a nine to five is bad, but one thing that I know is marketing to other business owners is somewhat of a challenge. And obviously their needs are actually different from those of maybe B2C or private customers. So your approach as a coach or consultant should actually be tailored to the market that you're bringing um, out there. So as a coach or consultant, you would also know that um, if you're selling to corporates or if you're selling your services to bigger enterprises, that's where most of the money is at. But also, since B2B is actually a specialized marketing niche, there's several concepts that you need to keep in mind. And if you want to target this audience successfully, you really want to be doing uh, things differently than if you're selling to mom and pop um, shops or if you're selling to everyday uh, individuals. Now, you could actually be thinking to yourself, now, how can I actually grow my consultancy or my business to compete with the bigger players out there? And let me tell you, the biggest problem as an entrepreneur, marketing is just not, it's just one aspect of running a successful business. You're going to need to hire people that so sort of clean up after you you as you go you're going to need people to balance your books so that you look professional and you're actually making a profit and you need to be gr driving growth within your business and it actually feels like a constant balancing act where you're pulled in multiple different directions all at once and at the end of the day your real goal is just to help your clients and you want to spend as much time as possible you know changing people's lives and solving problems. You don't want to waste countless hours each week trying to navigate the complex world of online marketing. And you certainly don't want to spend yet another minute um, on the phone having to beg people to, buy, to hire your services or to buy from you. And let me tell you something. Fortunately, you don't have to. You know, I don't, you know, and, 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 and I still have a long list of clients who want to work with me. And it's not because I'm a genius or it's not because I'm a master of persuasion either. It's because I follow a simple system that works. So like I mentioned, you know, if you're going to tailor your approach to each and every business, you will have, um, uh, you will create a business of your own that's profitable and enjoyable. And there's several concepts that you need to keep in mind if you really want to target the B2B audience successfully. Now, let's start off with the different approaches that you need to have uh, from a B2B perspective uh, versus a B2C marketing, all right? Because not all marketing is created equally because when you're marketing to consumers, it actually just requires appealing to the emotions and you're offering solutions to common pain points. And 
they really like simple mes messaging that highlights the benefits and solves their problems. That's what each and every one of us is out there doing. Whereas business owners or people that are working within an enterprise, they too have their own pain points. And most of them are to do with them retaining their job and to look good, okay? So it's totally different from Sally who just wants to um, solve a particular problem. So uh, business owners also have problems and pain points and a whole lot of them. And as any business owner could tell you, uh, you know, they're also going through stuff that needs, uh, you know, your services to help them be do and have a happier existence. But however, the products and services that appeal to business owners are based more on a, on, on a logic front than on emotions. They want solutions that are tailored towards either efficiency and a resource conservation. So they want things that help them make profit and save money. If your product, your courses, your coaching, your, um, you know, your consulting, your training, your information, your expertise is helping people save money and make more of it, then you will be the right kind of person who can uh, solve their problem. And you're still, let me tell you something, um, uh, marketing to a human being because the ultimate decision is not made by the business it is made by a person but that person is responsible for making first of all cost effective purchases that are that can actually affect the company's bottom line and the ability to serve their own customers so you want to be asking yourself what could help this business grow and how can I become a part of making that vision a reality? So whatever you are putting across to B2B customers, it has to actually be serving them and their customers, um, you know, so that they see value in whatever it is that you're putting out there. So business concepts, um, you know, that affect uh, customers will be totally different to the ones that accept uh, B2B um, you know, uh, customers. Okay. So no matter if your business caters for maybe fintech, uh, professionals, or maybe a large enterprise, each client requires a strategy that is tailored to the industry and business goals. No people will listen to marketing that is not directed at them. So the focus these days, maybe it could be on startups and with some, uh, let's say in, in the way things have been happening these days, you know, there's new businesses that are popping up each and every year. And the average job creation rate for new business is between 2.5 to 4 million new jobs. So that's a substantial market uh, to tap into because if you're, say, a sales coach or you are a wellness um, uh, coach, all of these people that are coming into these new jobs in the startup sector, they're going to need your services and they're going to need your expertise and you need to tap into that. And all these new entrepreneurs, they're going to need solid adverse, uh, advice about remaining competitive in the digital age. All right. So how do you then as a coach, consultant or a small business owner compete to get this uh, business? Some of the things might actually be uh, so far-fetched or so uh, different than what you've learned in the past. Um, and one thing that I can bring across to you right now is an acceptance of your own mindset and also um, an embracing of the new working environment. Because let me tell you something, guys. Business is actual hard work. And especially true when you're actually building your own brand and trying to make your mark. However, it's also fun to plant a seed and watch it grow as you serve new clients and solve new problems. So you want to enjoy the journey instead of being too hung on um, the outcome and the result. Because if you're not doing well or feeling well, you can't produce the best results. So you want to make sure that your environment and your workspace actually uh, showcases the lifestyle that you want to be living. You know, when you look at workspaces like Google or the lifestyles of entrepreneurs like Richard Branson, you'll see that having fun at work actually supports their creativity and innovation. So don't just look at, um, you know, what results you are 
uh, producing for your business. Also look at your mindset and your environment and how that is affecting the results that you're bringing into fruition. And you want to also remind your clients to actually carve out a slice uh, of time each and every day for themselves and their team to relax so they can reignite the passion uh, that actually led them to finding that startup in the first place. Because people are after freedom, time, and money. And if you cannot showcase that you are going to be, um, you know, affording that to them, then, hey, what is it about you that they're going to uh, want to learn, okay? Because anything like NLP or all the other... Um, you know, uh, modalities of consulting that can be uh, taken off of a textbook or any other consultant can do it. What is it about yourself that would uh, be aspirational for the people that want to be, do and have a happier existence? So you can actually then leverage it into your marketing platform. And this helps you create content, um, you know, in times where you're not just talking about your business, you can actually be talking about the stuff that you're doing and the cool and, um, you know, happy existence that you're having. And it actually then steers your brand to a particular lifestyle or demographic because all of these people are seeking a happier existence. And if you can showcase to them that your work environment or your lifestyle um, has been uh, afforded because of your principles and your processes, guess what? These people will definitely want to know, like, and trust you and people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. And while you're playing out there, because obviously we all know that all work and no play makes uh, Jack a dull boy. You need to be learning to recognize opportunity in the things that you are doing out there. Because some people wait for opportunity to come and knock on their house's door. Whereas successful business owners are able to recognize and seize opportunities where others only see challenges. So you could be out playing golf or playing tennis and then you see um, you know, somebody who's going through a problem that you can actually have a solution to. That person will be open to listen to what you're saying because you're in an environment that um, is able to make them relax. So you can actually start taking advantage of that particular lifestyle or demographic because people that like certain things or think in a certain way uh, hang out in different uh, places okay so when you're creating a new business um you know uh, or if your clients are creating a new business they are always uh challenges and creating a new business um opportunity can be as simple as finding new ways to solve common problems okay so you want to obtain um your customer reviews through maybe targeted campaigns or just talking to them while you're out there uh in a relaxed environment and you you can actually start turning your hobby or your side hustle into a thriving business because if we really look at it you know um Facebook or any other places that we are using to generate leads, they always change their algorithm. I mean, it was just a few weeks ago, Facebook announced a change to their algorithm and it actually caused a gnashing of teeth or maybe pulling of hair and cries of dismay amid brands that depend on Facebook for free traffic. Um, what they meant is, um, you know, you can't depend on that platform to be the the generation of leads. You need to be maybe out there and actually talking to people and helping people by actually helping them. So you could be using uh, email marketing, you know, maybe to get reviews or things like that. But when using a targeted email campaign, it is most... Um, important to pick the right email marketing service for, for your needs, okay? And there are options where businesses um, that send multiple emails a week, um, you know, all the way to, to options where you're a mid-sized business, where you need more marketing tools, not just a basic email service, all right? So you want to be able to control your audience and Part of being a successful professional means knowing what tools will help you achieve your goals. So instead of just um, counting on social media, you can actually start growing your email list. And as a uh, coach, consultant, or um, small business owner there, you'll be able to more objectively recognize opportunities of expansion and improve 
um, you know, the way you speak and connect with your clients. And for all this to happen, you really need to have a vision, a mission, and a plan. Because if you're just going to spray and pray with your marketing, hey, nobody's going to be able to have time uh, to listen to you because everybody else is busy. Okay. So having a vision, mission, and a plan. You know, these three concepts are often lumped together and used, um, you know, interchangeably, but they're really different facets of a uh, comprehensive business strategy because your vision is an ideal of the type of business that you want to create. What are your, um, you know, who are your customers going to be and how will you be doing business uh, with them and how will you be conducting yourself so that you can positive, positively impact their lives. Now, your mission is the overall and objective for turning that vision into reality. Say, for example, that your vision is to help maybe your customers cut costs, which obviously will improve their bottom line and enable them to invest more and expand on their business. Your mission then creates a framework, you know, for the reasons and beliefs behind why you want you to help your uh, customers become financially viable. And your plan then consists of all the concrete steps and milestones for reaching your business objectives and the strategy that you're going to be using and how you will put that plan into action to realize your vision in a way that is um, aligned to the rest of your mission. All right. So each and every one of these things, is going to be the direction that you need because if you're just gonna, it, like, you're driving anywhere else, um, you know, or going anywhere, um, that 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 you you need to arrive, you need to put the address of where you're gonna be, uh, going to in the GPS, and without direction or without, um, you know, an address, you anywhere that you're gonna arrive, um, you know, is 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 logical because you haven't put a a, a direct um you know uh, address of where it is that you want to go and you need to have a lot of focus um as to the people that you're going to be helping and you need to focus on building those customer relationships okay the thing is when you're playing in the b2b space um, these markets are ripe for attracting long-term loyal customers. And if you know how to reach and retain them, then you definitely will have a business for life that is profitable and enjoyable. So it's about building mutually beneficial personal relationships with the people that you're going to be working with throughout. And a lot of coaches, consultants, and small business owners spend five times as much attracting new business as they do to keep the current customers happy. Yet, up to about 85% of their revenues are generated from upselling, cross-selling, and incentivizing their existing client base. And through strategies like uh, maybe account-based marketing and incorporating digital marketing technology like what Live Long Digital does for you, you can actually create highly targeted and personalized campaigns that are designed to bring in specific clients so you can serve them well. And this actually provides you with much of a return on if you're on your investments and clients who actually know, like, and trust um, you. And when people know, like, and trust you, they definitely would spend a whole lot more with you. But I want you to keep in mind, when building these um, you know, uh, customer relationships, trust is a really big part of it. Just make sure that you take, um, you know, all the security measures that enable that your customers' data and information and intellectual property is protected and safe. Because just one simple cyber attack where your customer's personal data ends up in the dark web or is stolen can actually destroy that trust and reputation in a matter of seconds. And above all, just Keep the golden rule in mind when you're building customer relationships. Treat others the way that you want to be treated yourself, okay? And while you're doing that, you're creating relationships from of people that will now pay, stay, and refer. And remember, the value of time uh, either on your part or on your customer's part, and you want to use it wisely. Because let me tell you something, even though time may be a man-made construct, you know, but it doesn't diminish its value or the sense of urgency that is created when you're running up against some sort of a deadline. So all the resources we could squander 
um, uh, in our life and, you know, in, on our journeys to have a happier existence, time is the one that is non-renewable, okay? And once it's gone, it's gone for good. So consider all the missed opportunities because, you know, you lost track of time and all the hassles and, you know, whatever aggravations that you might be going through. So you want to manage your time wisely by planning your days, your weeks, your years, and setting goals and milestones. And do the same by not wasting your client's time. And if people um, want certain things done, you want to communicate that effectively, okay? Because this will help you become more efficient and effective while you're allowing yourself to, um, you know, let more joy and work within your daily life that we were speaking about earlier on. And remember, your goal is to be successful as a um, you know, a coach, uh, business owner, or, uh, uh, you know, a consultant. And if you're successful in your own terms, you should also have some sort of balance in your life. Because if you can use your time wisely and create a business that turns a profit, then you can also use your wealth and propel yourself into using that um, you know, profit to help others be, do, and have a happier existence. And with the time management skills that you learn, you actually then be efficient and be um, useful to the people that you're going to be approaching and reaching out to. So all in all, your business is your brand. And when you predominantly are uh, engaging in the B2B sector of trying to maybe uh, sell your consulting, your training, your information, your expertise, or some paid uh, speaking gigs, you have to approach each client how you'd want to be approached. Although there's a science to this whole digital marketing, it actually involves human touch. And that reaches, um, you know, um, your, your, your customers at the heart of where they actually are on their buyers, on their buyer's journey. So our focus is on providing you with timely, actionable information and resources that you can make your marketing efforts produce memorable results. And that's why I'm inviting you to come and check out the online prosperity method because it is a simple system that I've developed by just throwing away the stale marketer's rule book and adopting a cutting new, uh, a cutting edge new approach, okay? And it has helped me scale my business from zero to 450 clients in just six years with a staff of only 16 people. And I've been able to live my dream lifestyle, travel the world while supporting my growing family. And the best part about the online prosperity method is that it can be adopted at any scale uh, in any service business you know, to seven figures and beyond or whatever success means to you. And I can show you, um, you know, how to use this system and skyrocket um, the growth of your service business. Okay. Now, I would want that you have a queue of dream clients who will climb all over each other to give you money. And this is actually possible if you uh, maybe schedule a call with me and we can have a chat uh, in order for you to be, do and have a happier existence. Bye for now. Thank you for joining us today. If you have any questions, let's continue the conversation in the Live Long Digital community. Become a Live Long Digital community member today. This community is for ambitious entrepreneurs and small business owners with the drive to take control of the future of their businesses and achieve huge success without stress and overwhelm. As you heard, Prosper can help you by teaching you marketing strategies that work so look no further than the live long digital community of entrepreneurs and highly successful business owners join our community today find us on www.community.livelongdigital.com.au network with other driven entrepreneurs and find the expert guidance you need to take your business to the next level www.community.livelongdigital.com.au